welcome friends. Happy All Saints Sunday, this great feast of the church. We welcome you to worship today. Uh, a couple of announcements before we begin, um, and bear with me here, there's much going on. Um, today we are actually celebrating our first worship service inside the sanctuary at this very hour. If you're watching Sunday at 9.30, um, a group of 25 of us are masked up and safe, safely distanced uh, with the windows open and our coats on in the sanctuary um, celebrating Holy Eucharist. So as you are praying at home, we are praying with you together in the spirit um, across space. Um, so that is a great joy. If you would like to join us in future Sundays, um, we need you to register ahead of time. Registration actually filled up this week by Thursday. Um, so you can always register and then if you need to cancel later in the week and leave space for someone else, that's fine. Um, we're working on figuring out a waiting list through our registration system uh, so you can put your name on. But um, register ahead of time. Uh, I make sure that family groups are spaced. I have my measuring tape and everything. So um, worshiping in person, uh, at least for the next little while, but these virtual worship services will continue unchanged. So don't worry about that. Uh, we ask that you return your annual financial pledge cards to Epiphany if you plan to alter your pledge for 2021. Um, if you need to change it in any way, we need to know that as soon as possible. Um, the deadline for submission was last Sunday, but we ask you um, to return it as soon as you can. If you plan to keep your um, financial pledge the same for 2021 as it was in 2020, um, you do not need to do anything. We are assuming that, um, but just if you're changing it, let us know. Uh, a reminder that our healing prayer team at Epiphany continues to be in touch with one another. They email one another weekly, um, more than weekly sometimes. They continue to lift up in prayer anyone on our prayer list, anyone who has asked for prayers for healing of body, mind, or spirit. If you have a particular need for yourself, for a family member, for a friend or loved one, um, just send an email to Carol or Denise and they will um, let the healing prayer team know and lift them up in God's healing prayer. Um, at long last, we all know that Election Day is finally upon us this Tuesday. I would urge you all, if you have not already voted early, make a plan, figure out how you will do so. Uh, the polling places are open on Tuesday. Wear your mask, keep your distance, um, and plan to go vote at your polling place. I turned my uh, ballot in two weeks ago at the box at the East Providence City Hall. You can continue to do that if you requested a mail-in ballot. You can also vote there early right up until election day. So it's important that we are involved and that we make our voices heard and vote. So please make a plan, um, get a ride, whatever you need to do uh, to make that happen by Tuesday. Um, there are also a number of resources I've provided. This is an incredibly important time for us to be in prayer for our nation. Uh, there is a service the National Cathedral is sponsoring this afternoon from 4 to 5.30. Um, so you can join our presiding bishop for that, uh, live streamed online. Um, you can also join our own bishop nicely um, from the cathedral downtown in Providence. He's offering a Compline service on election night, I believe at 8 p.m. Um, and I think it's on Zoom. So again, the link is available in the um, e-news and the electronic bulletin. Um, but in addition, I included a number of resources, prayers from our own prayer book for an election, prayers for our nation. Um, so keep those close, pray them often. The uh, National Episcopal Church has also put out a resource, a novena of prayer, nine days of prayer leading up to the election. And that is on our Facebook page or on the Episcopal Church website. So there are a number of resources for prayer um, and please keep those close. Take care of yourself this week. Um, if you just can't watch the news all the time, you know it's not good for your heart or soul, uh, don't do it. Uh, check in every hour, every half hour, see how it's going, um, but take breaks. And um, if that's something you like to do and need to be there to watch, do so. Um, and stay in touch with friends and family while you are there um, if you're watching on your own. So um, whatever comes this week, um, we know that God holds us, holds this nation, um, and we are called to keep our prayers coming and to, um, to join together uh, in love and in unity as much as we possibly can. Uh, one final uh, resource for us, um, in, uh, not in this week's e-news on Friday, but in the um, Sunday e-news that gave you the link to this, if you're watching on YouTube and gave you the link to the bulletin, um, our Sunday e-news has an extra resource as we enter into the month of November. Uh, beginning today, November 1st, I've included a resource called 30 Days of Thankfulness. 
Um, I purchased this resource, so we have the rights at Epiphany um, to make it available to our parish. And uh, you can print it out. It is um, 30 days of reflections on gratitude, and each day is just super quick. It's one little verse of scripture, and then um, one question or a thing to do uh, to express gratitude, to express praise to God, uh, to consider maybe what you're grateful for or to offer something to someone uh, in gratitude. So they're just, it's an easy way to observe this month of November when we're getting toward Thanksgiving, when this is gonna be a different kind of holiday season. Um, it's a way to pause and to remember our faith each day. So 30 days of thankfulness, um, they're PDF files. You can print them out um, and, uh, and keep those handy somewhere, uh, on your table, by your bedside, whatever, uh, works for you. But I'll also be posting, there are some, um, social media posts so I'll be posting on Facebook, um, I hope nearly every day, that day's meditation. Um, so 30 days of thankfulness. Let's all, uh, try to do that together as November, um, uh, gets going. So with that, welcome to All Saints Worship. Um, we have plenty of familiar music and hymns for this All Saints Sunday. Um, we'll have the necrology, the reading of our beloved departed saints. Um, but also I'm here um, in my office at home surrounded by some of the, the cloud of witnesses that I enjoy. Um, behind me is a book called Saints, A Year in Faith and Art. And um, I have used this in the past for daily meditation. You can see that on each page, um, I open, happen to open to St. Dominic. Um, there is a piece of artwork and a little bit about that saint. It's just, it's a beautiful book um, that I keep handy. There is a book I really enjoy um, up at the top called Backpacking with the Saints, Our Companions um, on the Way, on the Journey of Life. Um, and I have an icon behind me that is an abstract icon of St. Michael. And we know that Epiphanes um, uh, was founded as St. Michael and All Angels. So this was given to me um, by a dear clergy friend, um, and I keep that here. Um, so I have the, the icon of the Virgin Mary, of course, behind me. So this is a little bit of the communion of saints uh, surrounding me. And I hope uh, in worship today we can remember uh, the communion of saints surrounding you, surrounding all of us. Those famous saints, those saints who are known to us alone, um, and those saints even who are yet to come. So know that wherever you are, God is with you. Let us worship. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And blessed be God's kingdom now and forever. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, you have knit together your elect in one communion and fellowship in the mystical body of your Son, Christ our Lord. Give us grace so to follow your blessed saints in all virtuous and godly living, that we may come to those ineffable joys that you have prepared for those who truly love you. 
Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God, in glory everlasting. Amen. A reading from Revelation. After this, I, John, looked, and there was a great multitude that no one could count, from every nation, from all tribes and peoples and languages, standing before the throne and before the Lamb, robed in white, with palm branches in their hands. They cried out in a loud voice, saying, Salvation belongs to our God, who is seated on the throne, and to the Lamb. And all the angels stood around the throne, and around the elders, and the four living creatures, and they fell on their faces before the throne, and worshipped God, singing, Amen, blessing, and glory, and wisdom, and thanksgiving, and honor, and power, and might be to our God forever and ever. Amen. Then one of the elders addressed me, saying, Who are these robed in white, and where have they come from? I said to him, Sir, you are the one that knows. Then he said to me, These are they who have come out of the great ordeal. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. For this reason, they are before the throne of God and worship him day and night within his temple. And the one who is seated on the throne will shelter them. They will hunger no more and thirst no more. The sun will not strike them, nor any scorching heat. For the Lamb at the center of the throne will be their shepherd, and he will guide them to springs of the water of life, and God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. The Word of the Lord. of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he sat down, his disciples came to him. And then he began to speak and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven, for in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. I offer this to you in the name of the living God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. All Saints Sunday is such a wonderful day. It is a day when we remember that time folds in on itself, that we as people of faith, as followers of Christ, are part of this great community that crosses time and space, this communion of saints, past, present, and yet to come. This is a day, maybe one of the only Sundays, that we specifically think about honoring our dead, our ancestors. We, in some small measure, we mourn those who are past, 
We remember our sorrow, but we also remember their joy, that in the book of Revelation, they hunger and thirst no more, the sun does not strike them, and God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. The kingdom of heaven, the triumph of those saints who have departed this life and joined God in the next. But they are still a part of us. They are still part of this communion of saints, this cloud of witnesses across space and time, whose lives give witness to this fellowship of love that is God's people. There is um, a beautiful greeting in the Jewish tradition, and many of us um, have known this for a while. Some of us have learned this for the first time, especially um, in the last month or so when Ruth Bader Ginsburg died, a woman of Jewish faith. Um, we were reminded not to, um, you know, say, may she rest in peace, may she rise in glory. In the Jewish tradition, uh, the, the greeting, the prayer, the wish when someone dies is to say, may their memory be a blessing. May their memory be a blessing. For All Saints Day, this is what we are about. We're about remembering those saints whose memories are a blessing to us, whose memories give us hope, whose stories show us the light of God in their times and often in challenging times. And there are the famous stories of saints that we know. You know, St. Peter and St. Thomas and uh, St. John and St. Patrick, um, St. Columba, of Ireland, Iona, and Scotland. Um, there are the famous women saints, St. Bridget, St. Joan, St. Teresa, St. Teresa of Lisieux, um, St. Teresa of Avila. Uh, there are the doctors of the church, the so-called doctors of the church who are great teachers. Um, all of these saints through history have shown us a, a part of God's light almost as if the saints reflect God's light through a prism, and we see so many colors. That's the communion of saints. God's light is reflected through the prism of humanity, shining all these beautiful colors around the world. And one single color is not a full expression of God's light, but all of us together, the communion of saints, that's the full picture of the image of God. So today we remember saints through the spectrum. Saints who are famous, who we can name, someone whose life we can talk about. Martin Luther King Jr., Frederick Douglass, Harriet Tubman, Susan B. Anthony. These are American saints. Some are Episcopalians, some are not. Some are Christians, some are not. There are saints of history who have the official title, saint. And then there are those in our own lives and generations, the people who have been saints to us, who have shown us God's light, who have shown a light into our lives in the darkest of hours and lifted us up. The saints who have taught us a way of life that we still live, we still wanna emulate. People who have been our mentors and our guides people who have loved us in the best way possible. These are our saints, whose names are known to us, but not to history. This whole spectrum, this whole cloud of saints gives us such a wide angle and a wide perspective. And I think right now, in an age and a time when we are so focused on the present moment, in this pandemic, in this election season, our anxiety is focused on the present and the near future, and we are caught up in it. We are caught up in daily decisions and anxieties. We are caught up in the next thing to come that we cannot see and we cannot know. We're caught up in an age that causes us great distress and great concern for humanity, for our country. We can get stuck in the present. Sometimes it's good to be grounded in the present, because that's all we know, in a way, that's all we have, but it's also good to remember that there is more than the present, to take the longer view and the wider lens. And so I think it's helpful to remember these saints, to remember history, to remember times past that people have for the ages overcome adversity 
in all times and places, hanging on to their faith in God and shining God's light no matter where they are, standing up for truth and justice and watching it come ever so slowly. Right now, maybe part of what we need is to see that scope of history. We need to remember our place in the wider communion of saints, the hope of God that the saints now rest in heaven and the saints are still being born. And God is God of them all. God is God of every time and place and holds both, of, both us in this present moment in the palm of God's hand and God also holds the sweep of the whole world and time in the arms of God. All Saints Sunday is a time for us to remember, to mourn our departed, to rejoice in God's goodness, to look to the example of the saints, to give us strength and hope for the roads we walk today and in the years to come. They are the light of God reflected through the prism of humanity in every color and shade. So today, maybe don't try to take in all of the saints, but see which few saints God wants you to remember in your heart, whose memory needs to be a blessing to you this year. Let them be your All Saints meditation. May the memories of all our dear departed be blessings to us. May the memories of the saints of the church in every time and place be a blessing to us. And may the newest saints baptized into the fellowship of Christ shine forth their light through the prism of humanity so that we can see the light of God through them. Count them among the communion of saints and bring them into the cloud of witnesses, showing forth God's love to us in this and every time. Amen. Let us pray in the words our Savior Christ has taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Father, we pray for your holy Catholic Church that we all may be one. Grant that every member of the church may truly and humbly serve you, that your name may be glorified by all people. We pray for all bishops, priests, and deacons, that they may be faithful ministers of your word and sacraments. Especially in this election season, we pray for all who govern and hold authority in the nations of the world, that there may be justice and peace on the earth. Give us grace to do your will in all that we undertake, that our works may find favor in your sight. Have compassion on those who suffer from any grief or trouble, that they may be delivered from their distress. Give to the departed eternal rest, let light perpetual shine upon them. We praise you for your saints who have entered into joy. May we also come to share in your heavenly kingdom. I invite you to remember those saints in your own lives who you would name now, giving thanks for their life and witness. We give thanks especially for these saints. Richard Messier, Janice and Alfred Hutchinson, Yvonne Mary Bulow, Charles and Dorothy, Dor Doris Winslow, Mansie Valentine, Charles and Isabel Killam, Clarence Valentine, Brooks and Ruth Porter, Bob Valentine, Thomas and Dorothy Morris, Randall Rocha, Edith Horton, Toppy Carlson, Edward Pacheco, Bertha and Thomas Fisher, Ernie Levine, Anna and Paul Kelly, Larry Fogarty, the Reverend John Hall, 
Poppy Carlson, Sherry Hunt, Sandy Peterson, Gladys and Ed Chapman, Michael James Poland, Arabella Horton, Jacob Mayo, Lila Vaughn, Hazel J. Lapham, Carlos Eastwood, William E. Lapham, Nora Eastwood, Romeo DeAngelis, Larry Lavalley, Diane DeAngelis, Louise Hale, Perry Crocker, Dean Hale, Irene Crocker, E. Virginia Vincelette, Jean Lafrac, Gloria Phillips, James O'Donnell, Edward Phillips, Michael O'Donnell, Walter Phillips, James Poland, Patricia Phillips, Mary Kathleen Poland, Mark Phillips, Eleanor and Stanley Gilly, Robert Matroni, Fran Drury, Nancy Bentley, the Right Reverend Malik Belshaw, Susan Bentley, the Reverend James Trimble, Barbara Hebblewaite, William Grand George, Shirley Profano, the Reverend Richard Morris, Alex Seychellis, Cal Lovin, Mr. and Mrs. Jansenio Mello Sr., Clyde DeLand, Jansenio Mello Jr., Harry and Colleen Curlis, William Jax, Neil and Janet Sharp, William McBain, Elizabeth Franklin, Anne Firth Kinch, Jeffrey Zog, Lawrence H. Kinch, Gay Holton, Anne Kinch, Harold Firth, Joyce and Eugene Dench, Mary Firth, Sue Kinch, Des and Barbara Campbell. Almighty God, by your Holy Spirit, you have made us one with your saints in heaven and on earth. Grant that in our earthly pilgrimage, we may always be supported by this fellowship of love and prayer and know ourselves to be surrounded by their witness to your power and mercy. We ask this for the sake of Jesus Christ, in whom all our intercessions are acceptable through the Spirit and who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. May God, who has given us in the lives of the saints patterns of holy living and faithful dying, strengthen your faith and devotion and enable you to bear witness to the truth against all adversity. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you this day and remain with you always. Amen. Let us go forth in the name of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.